Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War 3 on the Series X, and this is my insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on Act 5-5. It is entitled Ascension. So this fight is quite challenging. It's got a lot of enemies to, to deal with, uh, several waves, and it's I, I find it an enjoyable fight. Um, so this chapter is going to take us... Uh, right up through the end of the game uh, to the final boss in the next video and the um, final boss of course is uh, despicable unfair uh, not enjoyable and definitely in keeping with uh, the tradition of Gears of War bosses where uh, it's either a bad fight or there's no boss fight so I would prefer no boss fight to a bad boss fight but um, in, in the case of this game, uh, there definitely is a boss fight, and it is atrocious. So I haven't, uh, uh, you know, I haven't uh, done it this go around. But I definitely, um, if you're watching this video, it's because the guide is complete. Um, but I, I usually like to save my misery till the end on on these games. But um, this fight over here um, is is kind of awkward um, when you have to uh, go up the stairs uh, because you're you're really exposed. But it's 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 a really fair encounter and it's really fun too because there's just a lot of room to run around. Um, and this this is where it is. It's it's pretty awkward going up here. Um, now, I did inherit some items on on this uh, stage. You notice I, I came here with the boom and the torque. Um, this, this whole uh, project was not um, done the way I wanted to at all times because there's a, uh, there's a problem with the, the whole save uh, cloud saving feature uh, for this title. It, um, a lot of times when um, when I sit down to come back to play the game, it, um, it often will put me in a different uh, checkpoint and or uh, a different chapter altogether sometimes. And it's, it's really sad. The game uh, crashes quite a bit, but... Uh, Sometimes it just it it just throws you uh, at a different checkpoint, uh, pretty far back. Oh, this uh, this was kind of hilarious over here. The fact that I didn't die is is just a testament to uh, to how this game um, is is like sp spinning uh, spinning you know a, a wheel of fortune for yourself and trying to uh, see if. You can, you know, survive sometimes, uh, you know, when you, you definitely should be dead, you know, spinning a, a slot machine. That's what I, I think I was trying, the whole time I was trying to think of what the hell that was, a slot machine. I tried to, uh, you know, try to make things work that shouldn't and vice versa. But yeah, that was just completely hilarious that the whole fact that I didn't die there, um, but it, it definitely underscores uh, how luck-driven um, uh, your results uh, have to be sometimes in this title, which is really unfortunate. And it, it definitely harkens back to... Uh, I mean, not that it harkens back to it, but it all does, dovetails nicely into the, uh, the, the whole uh, fiasco of the final boss and... And, and how fortunate you have to be, you know, how all of your planets have to be aligned in a certain way to, to get the damn thing to work. But anyway, um, uh, the, the blood mounts, yeah, they, they can definitely come, come after you just the way that one did. Um, when you've killed the last guard over here, you can, uh, you can either choose to make your stand over here and deal with the reaver um, and use the mortar. Uh, the reaver, I I must have not been hitting him in a good spot because uh, I had to use 
so much of my torque bow to kill this thing it was just ridiculous and I, I used some some of the mortar too obviously he has armor and there are certain uh, parts where he's more vulnerable obviously uh, the the glowing uh, reddish orange uh, part of his uh, body there that I'm trying to hit and which I think I am hitting but uh, I guess he just has a lot of HP but this thing can uh, can definitely uh, walk all over the place it can uh, it can get some absurd uh, angles that will immediately spell your demise and uh, so what do you need for the final boss? Uh, a Lancer and a Retro Lancer and the Gorgon Pistol and it doesn't really matter about the uh, frag grenades. I, I believe I end up getting there with uh, just four regular frag grenades. I would always prefer to have incendiaries because I just find them much more helpful. Um, there isn't, there wasn't, excuse me, there's an edit over here in which I, I went around and got all of my loot. And uh, this encounter over here, there's going to be a whole bunch of stocks that sprout up. Uh, you're not responsible for doing anything over here except uh, surviving a timer, which I believe is a minute and a half. Somewhere around a minute and a half to two minutes. And uh, you can choose to partake or not. It's up to you. So I just, I could have put this in fast forward. But I, I just wanted to have it at a normal speed so that you can uh, see literally uh, how much time needs to elapse over here. It's just a waste of uh, your resources to use anything, especially, um, uh, you know, if, if something is coming after you, definitely try to try to deal with it. But the pods, they, they, you don't need to destroy the pods. Um, uh, the mutators... Uh, they, they can get some some pretty nasty projectiles sent over to you and uh, you, You're safer than you might think it's just the uh, the limit wretches that are going to give you problems But um, Okay, so if you If you do start this chapter like restart the chapter outright so that when you start it you just have the default weapons and it, you know i'm telling you to have a retro lancer and a lancer obviously the lancer is not a problem you start with it there's probably hundreds of them on this chapter uh but to my knowledge i think there's only two uh two places where there's a retro lancer so at the at the very end there's a retro lancer and there's another one somewhere else as well so um, on that encounter though I, I don't think there's a retro lancer anywhere but no need to worry because there's going to be one um, right at the end of the chapter I'll I will uh, I'll definitely mention it I um, I don't think I pick it up though because I already have it or somebody has it but it is it is uh, it is important to get it though because I, I don't um, um, I don't want you to get to the uh, the final act of this chapter and, and not have a retro lancer because uh, there's not a retro lancer on that particular stage. So if you do uh, uh, you know do a restart from chapter and start with the default weapons, the shotgun and the lancer, there's not a retro lancer. So you'll have to go back through this stage to pick it up. And you'll have to uh, carry it into the final uh, chapter. You know, it's just that, you know, why why those particular weapons? Well, you know, it, the power weapons, they're, um, they're, they're just not going to help you. And it's not particularly ne necessary that your teammates have power weapons. I, I wouldn't give them power weapons uh, because... Um, you want them to have uh, assault rifles, so just, I don't even, I haven't bothered giving them hardly, there's been a very few instances where I've actually uh, given my teammates anything, I'll take things from them, um, you know, that I find convenient to have, but, um, 
Also, it's the Gorgon pistol is very crucial to to have, and um, uh, it's a mistake. It's definitely a mistake to uh, think that power weapons will help you on the final boss. They they just won't. Uh, it's it's been uh, carefully adjusted so that um, the torque bow and the boom shot. It's uh, it's a detriment to have those weapons. Uh, over the uh, the assault rifles, you don't want the hammer burst. That's obviously it's a. I like the hammer burst aesthetically on this game, but I I feel that it's has such a a small clip size and uh, uh, total a ammo capacity is is just uh, too little, and you know it has too much things going for it as far as that to recommend it. But I really like the iron sights. Um, but I, I do feel that since you don't get very many bullets with this weapon and the magazine is like half of the Lancers or less than half, uh, I feel that it should uh, deal deal a little bit more damage than the Lancer since it has so many things against it. But um, they really can't ever get the Hammer Burst right, I feel. But I think in this game, it's as right as it possibly could be oh here a class it's just don't steal my my fucking execution it's so it, it's one of those things where i understand it because it, it feels like you know the ai is 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 acting in a, in a hu human like way and they're you know they're it, it looks nice and everything but I'll be damned trying to have your execution stolen by your teammates is really frustrating. That and then throwing smoke grenades. I think those are my two biggest pet peeves. Um, yeah, so the, um, the thing about uh, the final boss is that you need max you need max ammo like constantly you're gonna it, it requires so much so much ammunition to uh to destroy the um the the damn thing plus um you'll all you always want to have enough ammunition because when it attacks the tower it, it can result in a fail state and if it ever attacks the tower for a third time uh you'll want to just restart the checkpoint because it's um, it's virtually impossible to avoid a fail state um, and hit it enough before it says objective fail and uh, you just it doesn't uh, it doesn't let you have any more grace um, so and it's not that it's not that dire but um, it does require a, a lot of uh, ammunition uh, to get it off of the tower so that that was always frustrating for me when I wasn't familiar as as familiar with it as I am uh you know now but uh I always thought that it was kind of ridiculous but yeah if it goes on the tower for a third time you, you can't uh you can't uh, uh win so and that's unfortunate but um you'll you'll probably want to have the um the retro lancer for those moments when it's on the tower because uh, it, it packs more of a punch than the lancer does and you can possibly get it off quicker so that's one of the main concerns is uh as the objective failure i always I, I don't like that at all um so there's some weapons in here uh there's possibly a this is yeah here it is Okay, so that's the first Retro Lancer. The second one is coming up, so uh, don't don't uh, forget to pick that up if you don't have it. And then we're we're going to be um, going up here to uh, help Marcus get his uh, father uh, out of harm's way. Okay, so when you knock down this door over here, 
there's going to be a checkpoint for you. And I, I just kind of screw around. I, I, I tag a grenade to that grinder and uh, do some tomfoolery because there's a nice checkpoint over there. Uh, so there's, uh, there's going to be a long hallway at the end of which there's a turret and there's a one shot that you can get from one of the rooms uh, that will help you expedite uh, getting the essential number of kills that you need to transition before you get the next checkpoint. There's also a mauler over here. Uh, the only warning about getting the one shot is taking it from the room where it's at and uh, safely uh, getting to cover before uh, you get killed. It's not that bad, but um, you know when when you when you're carrying that thing, you, you move so slowly. So you'll definitely want to slide into cover as much as you possibly can. Um, but it's right over here, uh, this room over. Here. Oh, to the left, the room across the way. That's where the other retro lancer is. The one shot's behind this couch. You don't need. You don't have to grab this weapon either, but it's very helpful. Um, this, this, see, just moving that weapon over to here. I, I died once trying to do it, but, um, it, it's fairly, it's fairly safe. I mean, it, it's not something that's going to cause you that much problems, probably. Um, so there's going to be a, a guy on a turret and you'll, you can just shoot right through the turret and you, you can kill him. Um, uh, but he gets replacements i mean not that he it's not like he gets replacements but um replacement uh gunners will, will go on the turret so you just need to make these kills as snappy as you can because uh, of the impediment of uh, of your movement when you're on this thing but it works really nice because you can you can shoot right through the turret i really like that they're not as bitchy as they were in the first game Okay, right over to the left, that room. I don't think I go in there because I already have the Retro Lancer. I already picked it up. Um, but when you get up here, you're going to get a checkpoint, and there's uh, two rooms that you need to go into. Um, I'm going to just grab the uh, boom shot off of Baird. Uh, my having given it to him, uh, the boom shot, uh, that was not done with any forethought. I don't even remember doing it. I don't know why I even did it. Uh, but he happened to have a boom shot, so I, I plucked it off of him, and uh, I'm now using it to uh, uh, to deal with uh, the uh, the grinder and a couple of these guys over here. Um, this this room is not too bad because uh, you can uh, properly aim, and there's uh, not a, a real need to aim over your left shoulder as there is on the other side, but you can, of course... Manipulated as we're gonna do, so I gave uh, Baird back the uh, boom shot. I mean, if he has it and he carries it into the next chapter, that's fine. I mean, it's just kind of silly them using boom shots to kill screamers and things like that in the next chapter. It, so maybe we'll we'll give him something else. So pull the switch, and then you're gonna go on to the other room. You can go. Uh, whichever order you want to now on this room um i i, I would uh recommend if you, you want to do this nice uh convenient trick of uh aiming over your left shoulder like this i i would probably dare say that even in the sixth game which has not come out yet uh, I, I don't think they're going to give you a shoulder swap I mean, they've never committed to ever giving you it in the first place out of cover, you know, being able to switch your shoulders to aim. But um, I always find it funny doing this because it's... Uh, I mean, they they clearly let it happen. I mean, so the fact that you can you can do it in certain instances is uh, is just kind of funny in my opinion. Anyway, once you've cleared both rooms, uh, you're going to go into the main room. There's going to be a cutscene, and then you're going to um, be dealing with uh, a whole bunch of enemies that uh, you can just clear with the Troika. 
there's uh, several lambent at first. I, I've never died on this, and I'm not trying to say that to to be a braggart or anything, or you know, toot my horn, toot my toot, or you know, wind my horn as it were. Um, but I'm, I'm just telling you that uh, I've never died on this, and I don't anticipate that you'll die on this. So um, you, you need not worry, is what I was just trying to convey. So you want to clear the lambent as much as you can, and at the very end, you'll notice that there's a stock that has a ton of uh, pods. So you'll want to destroy the pods as quickly as you can. I've I've just never had them get very close. You know, they if you're efficient enough with the with the cooling down of the troika and you know. Uh, killing the pods and killing the enemies just one right after the next it uh, it's not a big deal the next chapter is a big deal though it's just I mean everything up to the final checkpoint is is manageable it's just that you know that last checkpoint is pretty pretty god awful but uh, before you leave though just make sure you've got the Lancer the Retro Lancer and the Gorgon Pistol maxed out reloaded everything and again the retro lancer we're gonna pass by the room it's the room right over to the right right over there so since we already have it obviously we're not gonna we don't need it just make sure everything is maxed out and i will see you in the final chapter of act five it's the uh the end of the game so until i see you there please take care